Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for Sagittarius. Hope you're all well. Thanks so much for dropping in. I do really appreciate it. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Overall energy surrounding Sag Sagittarius this week. Time is fluid though. Some of you this may, you know, whatever happens in this reading may have already happened or it may be in progress, right? Everyone's on a different time frame, a little bit different path. Sagittarius, what is the overall energy surrounding you in your love life? What is the overall energy surrounding Sagittarius? Ooh, you have a new beginning in love. Some Leo energy. I seen, I seen Leo in the other reading. Oh my goodness. We have the three of fire. Oh, you are waiting for this new beginning. This is, or this person's waiting for you to come in and express yourself. Waiting, waiting. Mm-hmm. And we have nine of fire. Yeah, someone needs to surrender. Otherwise, someone's going to give up. Someone's getting tired of waiting here. <laughs> they, they're sitting here just sort of bobbing around in this boat. See that? Three of fire, three of wands energy. Like, here I am. Hello, come and get me because I'm pointing towards exit stage right. Yeah, this is where you start to look into the future. Somebody's holding out. They're waiting for you to come in and express yourself, Sagittarius. Okay, or you're waiting for them. Could be the other way around. Nine of fire. Yeah, someone needs to surrender or someone's worried someone's going to give up, get tired of waiting. And I feel like that's exactly what's going on here. It's taken too much time. Oh, that was my phone. Please tell me you didn't break. Nope. Whew, that wouldn't have been good. It's like, oh, I don't want to buy another cell phone. All right, let's get on with it. What is coming in and what is going out? What's changing in the love lives of the Sagittarius viewers? Clear messages and guidance for Sagittarius. You don't want this person to, to give up. I can tell that they're going to. I'm telling you, Sag, if you don't express yourself, or I mean, it could be you. Flip it. I'm just going to read it the way I see it. There's a Leo coming towards you. Maybe you're waiting for this person. Maybe it's you. You're just about ready to give up. Seven of Swords. Yeah, someone needs to figure out what they want. Okay, this is figuring out what they want. Figuring out how to fix a situation. To express themselves. How to get this new beginning. So, very interesting. Seven of Swords. There we go. Six of Cups. Someone's trying to figure out how to have a reconciliation, trying to figure out their feelings, how to fix something. We got sweet feelings and sweet memories. I feel like this person, if they want to figure something out, they need to figure out how to do something sweet for the other person because they're waiting. They're waiting. They're pointing the other way. They're holding on here, but they're starting to look. They're ready to give up and starting to look for someone else. Mm-hmm. I see that happening here. Sagittarius. There we go. Oh, the cards are hopping. Seven of Pentacles. Yep. Yeah, someone's waiting patiently for you to express yourself. They're waiting for this new beginning. They're not going to invest unless somebody does something sweet for them. They want them to do something. You either want them to do something sweet for you or vice versa. Yes, for this reconciliation someone's trying to figure out what to do I don't mean to laugh but it's like I, this card always makes me laugh this three of fire here because this person's face it's more of a character and now if you see somebody's got this mask on they're just sort of sitting there like hello I've been sitting here forever I'm starting to look for other people if you don't come in I'm going to give up Getting ready to give up if you don't come in and surrender your love to me. Someone needs to express their feelings. Give it up already. Yep, reconciliation. Somebody is making that decision. Someone's about to make a decision to take off, to give up. Yeah, eight of, it's not working. Someone doesn't want to put any work in. Someone doesn't want to put any work into this. They're tired of waiting. Somebody's trying to figure something out here. 
big decision, putting a lot of work in, yeah, holding back, clearing their head, clearing their energy, taking a break, thinking, thinking, too much thinking, not enough talking. <laughs> Yeah, someone's holding back. They're not sure if they want to put work into this or not. They're looking into the future. They're getting bored. This card wanted to come out. Seven of Wands. Yeah, feeling defensive. See, look at that pointing forward. I'm ready to give up. I'm tired of feeling defensive. I'm taking a stand here. You either express yourself, start this new beginning, or I'm out of here. Simple as that. Yep. Someone's feeling guarded, defensive. And then we have the sun. There it is. Yep. Pointing right at it. Tired of this. Pointing right at it. I want this new beginning. Express yourself. Start. You better hurry up or I'm out of here. It's making someone feel defensive. They have a hard time believing there's going to be a new beginning. That someone can actually express themselves because they're taking too long. Leaving somebody waiting too long. Holding back, right? There's something that needs healing. Something that needs to be cleared up here. With this Four of Swords, you see this card? He's lying there. And, I mean, he's practically dead. <laughs> he's completely worn out from thinking. Like I said, too much thinking, not enough action. There's something that needs healing. Somebody needs to heal something. They need to do some inner work here. There's something, some kind of awakening, wake-up call. Someone's, you know, somebody needs a wake-up call here. They're out cold. <laughs> Like, seriously, like, oh, this is, I would be frustrated because you're sitting here waiting for somebody to express themselves, to make themselves clear, to tell you their intentions. It make, makes you defensive. It makes you have a hard time believing that they actually can or ever will. So, yeah, we have the King of Swords. There you go. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or just could be this Leo coming in that you're waiting for, or they're waiting for you to express themselves, to make their intentions clear. Make it known already. <laughs> Bring it on. This person's going to give up. Somebody's on their way out the door. Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Oh, yeah. So somebody has a fear. Someone's tried to figure something out. They're trying to fix something. Somebody might have been a little bit of a player. They're afraid that it's going to be exposed. Hmm. I see why they're holding back. They're thinking about how to clear all this negative energy, clearing the clutter, clearing stuff out of their life so they can have this new beginning because there's someone taking a stand. Somebody stood up for themselves here. Uh, I feel like it's a Leo, but it could be you doing that and you want this leo to express themselves you want everything out in the open you want it exposed what is the truth what are your intentions give me some clarity communicate your truth stop thinking someone's thinking too much they're over analyzing way too much <sighs> six of cups why is the six of cups here why is this here yep yeah, look at both of you have sweet feelings for each other that's isn't that all that really matters you both want this reconciliation. You both are reminiscing. You're missing each other. But there's things that need to be exposed. I feel there's something here, somebody in the past. I think someone's just trying to figure out what their fears are, what they're afraid of. They need to fix this. It looks like fear more than a third party, but we'll see where it goes. I may have to go back and revisit this. We'll see. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Yep. Yeah. There's that, look at that, the sun again. I'm telling you, somebody wants a new beginning. They want clarity. They want this new beginning. They want to clear things up. They want to talk. They want to express themselves. They're waiting patiently. I feel like it's you, Saj. I think you're waiting for this person. It's like, tell me what you want already. I'm taking a stand. You only have so long. I'm feeling defensive. I'm feeling guarded. I'm standing my ground. Express yourself or I'm going to cut you out. I'm going to leave. Yeah, tell me about the... There's a need for things to be illuminated. Someone's going through an awakening. They need to get clear with themselves there. Someone's trying to figure out their fears, why they're so afraid. Somebody may have been a player. They're afraid that it's going to be exposed if they connect with this other person. Tell me about this. We're gonna, I'm going to dig into that with another deck. We're going to see what's being exposed here. 
Yeah, there's an ending. So we have the death card, an ending and a transformation. Oh, somebody is going through the death of the ego. Whew. That's been a lot of people are going through that. We're in 2020, I'll tell you. I think this Lionsgate portal has really shifted something uh, along with the energy of this year overall. It's, it's, this is big. It's happening to everybody in one way or another. Uh, generally, the people who were uh, dishonest or deceptive or closed off or afraid, not everybody goes through that because of dishonesty, but it's all these things, right? It's that wake-up call. It's time to put an end to something, time to put an end to the sphere, to fix the situation, because there's some beautiful two people who miss each other, who love each other, who have a lot of emotions. There's a beautiful connection here. That's already being exposed. You're both very clear about that. You know what you have. But there's someone is going through this transformation, this very, very deep healing, working on themselves, working things out, trying to clear out the clutter, clear out things that they don't want exposed, possible <laughs> fear of, yeah, somebody was a bit of a player. They, they're going through something. Maybe this is somebody who hurt a lot of people. And they're getting that wake-up call. They're feeling bad. It's been exposed. It's been expressed. Something has been very much illuminated to this person. And I feel like they're... I see some Scorpio energy, but it doesn't have to be with the death cards everywhere. So I'm sure not everyone's involved with a Scorpio right now. So we have, yeah, so somebody wants to figure out, they want to put the work on this. They want to be emotionally available. They want this new beginning. Wow, yeah, it's just a, it's just a time for healing, holding back and thinking, uh, clearing out. This is clearing out baggage, clearing out clutter, literally clearing things out of your house from the ex, <laughs> right? Getting rid of everything. It's time for a fresh new start. It's time for everything to be completely out in the open, start completely fresh. It's beautiful. This could work. This is something with both of you worked on this together, came together. This could be, look at this, it could be absolutely beautiful. Uh, there's the sun is shining. You could be very happy together. Tell me about the four of swords. Why is this here? Why is this here? Yeah, so someone, yeah, see somebody here, they're trying to heal something. Somebody's trying to heal something emotional. They're working on themselves. This is someone who's trying to Figure out what's the right way to do something. What's the right way to express themselves. Somebody who, I feel like it's somebody who needs to learn to express themselves emotionally. Somebody has a real hard time with it. They're trying to figure out how to go about this because they know the other person is waiting. They're not going to wait forever, yeah. Doing the right thing, making things right, coming in, paying attention to the details, coming in very slowly. Yeah, someone's taking too long. The other person's pointing the other direction. Yeah, doing the right thing, making someone feel safe. Someone's trying to figure out how to bring the stability back between you. Uh, will this work? Is this the right thing to do? Should I do this? How should I go about it? What should I say? How do I make this person feel safe and secure? Am I ready for commitment? You know, there's a lot of questions here. Somebody's pondering and thinking. Uh, this all has to do with the communication. This is all the details they're working through. They want to get it right. It needs to be exactly right before they move towards this. They're pointing at it, though. They're thinking about this. This is somebody who hasn't been invested emotionally with anyone for some time. They need to heal that. Yeah, they're thinking and holding back. They're healing. It takes a little bit of time. Give this person a bit of time. Be patient, Saj. Okay, be a little bit patient. Give this person a little bit of space to do that because I feel they're going to get very defensive. Um, I do feel they're going through it. They just need a little bit of time to get that clarity, and they will. They will come out of this clear. Uh, they will make their intentions clear, and that is to have this new beginning, to express themselves, express this love. They're going to express it probably in a very big way. This is somebody who doesn't want you to give up on them. Don't give up on this person. Give them a little bit of time. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Yeah, see? Someone's thinking, 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 rolling around their head. They can't stop thinking. Feeling guarded, feeling defensive. Yeah, I feel like this person knows you're defensive. They know you're guarded. They can't stop thinking about it. You stood up to yourself. They're thinking about that too. 
And this person knows that they can't come back. They have to do everything. They have to express themselves. They can't repeat any mistakes of the past. Okay. However they came towards you originally, they cannot come back that way. Because I feel you're guarded and defensive. You do not want to get trapped in a situation with somebody who cannot express their feelings. You want everything illuminated. Look at this beautiful card. Wow. That pudgy little baby there. Right, let's see. Wow, so much sun. There's so much sun in here. Like, it's so positive. It takes the complete chill off. Anything that's negative in this reading is really being burnt off by the sun here. It's a very healing energy. The sun can be very healing, very illuminating. It's um, It adds that bright, sunny feeling and positive energy. So try to think positive. This is the message I'm getting, the overall message here. Yeah, somebody wants a reconciliation. Yeah, somebody wants a baby, they want to start a family, They want, but they want everything fresh. They want everything out in the open first. They want everything clear. A brand new beginning. Beautiful. Some of you may simply just be having a new addition to the family. There may be a new baby being born. <laughs> Someone who's been through it before. Yes, I feel like we have... Yeah, someone's being patient, waiting for this reconciliation. I feel like you do. You need to give this person patience. Give them the time that they need to heal, to express themselves. Don't push them too hard. Don't give up. They don't want you to give up. I don't think you should give up on them. I think you should just... I mean, you can hold on to this and kind of look out there if you want to see what else is out there. But I feel like with all that's going to happen is you're just going to come right back around to this person anyway. You know you can't stop thinking about them. Yeah, this person here, they're going to make their intentions clear. Somebody's going to come in and ask you if you're single. Yeah. Tell me about this Nine of Pentacles. What is this person's Nine of Pentacles? Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? What's this all about? Yeah, so there's a lack of clarity. Yeah, so see, at this point right now, this person's still not clear. They're still working through this. They're trying to figure out if they want to stay single. They want to know if you're single. I feel like you don't know if they're 100% single at this point. Yeah, there's a lack of clarity. They haven't told you what their intentions are yet. You're still waiting patiently uh, for this clarity, for this truth, for them to express themselves. It says to be patient. Uh, they will come back around. They miss you. Okay, they have very sweet feelings for you. They will express themselves. Some of you are waiting for this person to tell you that they love you, that they want to have this new beginning, that they want to commit to this relationship. Okay, and start fresh. Tell me about the sun. You're sitting on the edge of your seat, I feel. Some of you have this anticipation, but you're afraid. Some of you are afraid. You have a fear that this person... You know, they can't fix themselves, figure themselves out. I feel like somebody definitely has issues, emotional issues. Tell me about the sun. Why is this here for Sagittarius? I feel like we, you got this. You definitely have a Leo or, an, or a Scorpio, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here, possibly as well. All right, the sun. Why is this here? There we go. Yeah, cooperation, compromise, teamwork. You're going to have to cooperate and compromise. Bend a little, be a little flexible. Give this person a little bit of time. Uh, they need cooperation. Uh, I do feel like it's very, been exposed. You're very compatible. They know what you want. You've expressed yourself. You want teamwork. You want a commitment. They get it. Okay. Tell me about the three of fire. Why is the three of fire here? Yeah, end of cycle. So yeah, I feel like there's a something coming to an end here. I feel like some of you are thinking of ending this and getting off this emotional roller coaster and moving on to something better. But you keep this. I feel like you've been this person's been in and out. You've had this very on and off relationship. I think you're tired of waiting. Okay, I feel here. Look at that. Very same. All the fire signs got a very similar energy because you're all mixing and mingling right now. <laughs> yeah. Somebody wants someone to focus on them. Somebody's like, if this person doesn't come in and focus on me, I'm going to focus on myself and I'm getting off this. I'm not going to repeat this. This is the last opportunity this person has to express themselves, to come clean, to 
put an end to whatever it is they need to end, to reconcile and to transform this into a fresh new start, to put the work in. It's going to take both of you to work on this, though. You both probably need work on your emotional, right, on expressing your emotions. It's going to take two. This person's working on it. They've expressed that to you, so you're waiting. Sag, I see you waiting there. Tell me about the Nine of Fire. Why is this here? Why is the Nine of Fire here? Why is this here? Yeah, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Justice. So yeah, there's somebody here who's taking their time trying to find that inner balance. This is somebody who's trying to do everything just right. They're paying attention to the details. Focus. They're planning something. Somebody's planning to come in just right. They want to do everything right. This is somebody who likes to plan for the future. Very focused on their money as well. I feel they are financially stable. They need to focus on their finances while this is going on as well. So they're while they're working, they're you know this is going on. They're thinking about this situation. Yeah, I feel as though they. This person doesn't want you to give up on them. They're planning something. They're planning to come in right. They know they need to do things right. And they need to come in just right. And I feel they're going to. So they feel like you're just right for them. Um, this is somebody who, you know, hasn't surrendered to love or a commitment for a very long time. So they're not so sure, right? Like they're. I feel like they're just kind of sitting there. They know. They know they need to do it right. It's. Otherwise, you will give up on them. So it's taken this person a long time to sort out their feelings and their thoughts, how they want this, how they see it. Tell me about justice. Tell me about justice. Why is justice here? What is the justice card here for? Yeah, so I feel like this person, yeah, they want to be free. I don't know. This person might, you might never get the clarity. It's possible for some of you, this person might decide their intention is to just stay single they have everything they need they but they're clear they see you as everything they want they see this energy but you're they've never told you you've never gotten the clarity from them it could be that way for some of you they actually just going to tell you they want to stay single this person's very focused on their career their finances they're looking into the future. They're planning. I do feel they're coming in. They want to set themselves free from something. I feel they. this person has a lot of success. Tell me about the six of staves. Yeah, they, they want to do things right. They don't want you to take off. Yeah, they don't want you to take off. They don't want you to let go, um, you know, to give up. They don't know if they want to surrender either. This person's used to being free. They're used to getting a lot of attention. So they would have to really, they got a lot to deal with. They would have to set themselves free from a lot of things. And that's that fear too. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. What is their intentions towards? I don't know. I feel like this person's probably uh, a Leo. It looks like very, or Scorpio or something, possibly. They don't have to be. But I feel like they are somebody who's very focused on their career, their finances. They like to do everything just right. This is somebody who likes to plan in advance. They want it, you know, they want everything right in their life. Yeah. I feel like they're going to come in. They want to set themselves free from something. What are they setting themselves free? They have to set themselves free from something first. That's what I think. And that's... I think this person's been a player. Yeah, you can't see a way forward. Yeah, you can't see a way forward. You're sitting here at a crossroads. If this person just comes towards you for attention, yeah, I feel like they, you're going to give up on this person if they try to come towards you with that passionate energy. See, that's your energy, Sag. Maybe you're going to set yourself free from this person because they're taking too long. But you're indecisive, so you're just sort of sitting there on the edge like this person. You feel like they're not focused on you. You feel like they're not reaching out. You're not talking right now. Just be patient. Give them a chance to, they're healing something. They're working something out. Yeah, you're really impatient. You don't want to wait. 
I feel like you just feel like you need to take off, but you can't, you don't want to though, right? You can't see a way forward. You can't, you're indecisive about whether you should just let them go or just sit and wait. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. What do they want? That could be you. Ooh, they want, they want commitment, but they're feeling stuck. They're not sure if they want to commit. Yeah, they don't know. This person's not sure if they want to stay single or commit. So there you go. You got your answer. So this could be you as well. This could be you. Not so sure you want to surrender to love or give up your single life to commit to somebody. Uh, because I feel like this person's kind of like, I feel like you tried to have a new beginning or they did with you and you're just not so sure. But this is giving up a lot of freedom, you know, um, commitment, marriage. This person's concentrating on their foundation. I feel like it's you. I actually feel like this is you. Uh, you're not so sure. You just want to be free. They're going to make you an offer, though. Where's this offer leading? Where's this leading? Yeah, there's going to be a lot of top, a lot of talk here, a lot of communication. Yeah, if there's not a solid offer, I feel like it's them coming to you. I actually think you're going to take your energy elsewhere. If this person doesn't make you a solid offer, if there isn't a solid commitment where you can rely on them, I don't think you're you're going to go for it. I think you're going to take off. You're you'll eventually just get out of here, but they may come in and communicate with you. So, it could go either way right now cuz you're this is the way you're thinking too because they're you're waiting for them to tell you what their intentions are as regards to you. There's this that this person has an absolute fear of giving up the single life. They're trying to figure something out here. And you are too. You want to you want to know what their intentions are. So yeah, this is a tower. This person is terrified. They're going to come in out of the blue. Yeah, that tower, that's that epiphany. Like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm afraid. Scorpio energy, Aries energy. It'll be anyone, though. Tell me about the sun, and we'll wrap this up. Tell me about the sun. Yeah, someone's indecisive here. See, we have that seven. Someone's waiting patiently, not sure if they want to invest and express themselves. Indecisive energy. But I feel like you're anxious and impatient here. Yeah, if this person doesn't come in. I feel like you're just going to go. Like you're only going to give them so long. But it's telling you to be patient and wait. Just be patient and wait for this person. Uh, they're sorting something out here. They're releasing things, clearing out the clutter in their love life. Maybe they're clearing people out of their lives, that kind of thing. It's take it's a lot of work. They're working on this. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. There we go. Yeah, they're clearing things out, thinking about love, about expressing themselves. They're healing their emotional self. They're putting a lot of work in. Uh, they have things they need to clear up and think about and heal. So just give them some time. They're thinking. They need to clear their head. They have some negative energy, maybe from past relationships, okay, that they need to let go of before they can have this new beginning and commit. It's really all about commitment. I feel like everything else is there. It's like you're just sitting and waiting. It's like, they better come in and focus on me or I'm out of here. Yeah, the emperor, there you go. This is what this person's did. They're trying to heal this. They're trying to come in. They want to come in. They have to be the emperor. This is somebody's used to having things their way, though, right? They're not used to being in a commitment. Yeah, they're very stable, very financially stable. Uh, they know they come in, come in and they need to make you feel safe and secure. They need to be reliable. That's what you want. You want them to come in that way. That's what you're waiting for. They're aware of it. They understand it. They're thinking about it. Okay? They're just... I feel they have some earth in their chart, Sag, and they're just a little bit slower at processing and figuring things out, okay? Yeah. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Yeah, so this person's working through this process very slowly. They want to do it right. They want to make the right decision. I feel like they will come in. I do. They're just trying to get their emotions sorted. Their emotions are all over. They're, this person is, is used to 
using all the power they have to control their emotions, to control things, but they know things are, they don't want things to get out of control. They're terrified of, this person's afraid to be emotion, emotionally vulnerable. They're afraid of losing control, okay? So I feel like they're going to be a little leery about seeing you, possibly face to face as well. Okay, because they may literally lose control. So they're trying to be an emperor. They're used to being very stern and not having a lot of emotional. They, they haven't had, maybe they haven't been in love for a long time. Yeah, they're not used to it. They they need to, yeah, they, this person needs to purge and release. They need to heal. They have old baggage they need to let go of. Give this person an opportunity to do it. It does seem like it's a little out of reach, but they're trying. Okay, this is your hopes and dreams as this person releases whatever it is that's holding them back from expressing themselves and committing. Yeah, they're afraid. They're, they're invested in fear right now. They're afraid. They're afraid to invest. Maybe they're afraid that you won't invest in them. Because you're afraid too. Because, you know, I can see you've got some stuff going on too, Saj. Uh, that, you know, keeps replaying in your mind where you're very guarded, very defensive. If this person comes around, it's it's been on and off and on and off. It's now D-Day. It's either commit or it's over. This is this person's last opportunity. It's a big decision. Yeah, they're getting ready to take a leap of faith because they know you're not going to take a risk. You're not. They've got to commit. So that's where it's at. They're... They know you'll go off and have a new beginning somewhere else. But they it could be an Aries. They, some of you it is. They're coming in to take that leap of faith. They will eventually. Yeah, they... Wow. Yeah, Empress Energy. So, yeah, I feel like, you know, just hold yourself in high regard. It's the best thing to do. Just sit back. All right. Hold yourself in high regard. This person sees you as the Empress. They couldn't wish for anybody better. I feel they're, you know, they just, it's the commitment, <laughs> uh, this healing energy. They're, yeah, they want to. They want this new beginning. They, yeah, they're fear. They're invested in fear right now. They're and they're afraid that because you're, you have fears that you may not invest, stay invested with them. So it's like, you know, both of you. It's like, should I give up? Should I surrender? Or should I, you know, should I just let this go, put it behind me and move forward towards something else that's maybe more successful, which is where you're at. It's like they either give you a solid commitment or there is no way forward. Uh, you probably will block this person and not talk to them again. And that's something else I think that they don't like. Okay, so just be patient, see what happens. Let's grab some outcome cards here. What is the outcome of this situation? That Empress energy is there. Hold yourself in high regard. You have a lot more power in this situation than you think. When someone sees you as the Empress, you know, right? <laughs> What's the outcome? Messages and guidance from spirit. What is the outcome? Oops, there we go. Yeah, see, this person's discovering. They're trying to discover their intentions. They're discovering things about you while they're thinking about you. And they're looking at this bright and shiny diamond you are. They're discovering things about themselves, their feelings, their emotions. They're going through this healing. There's definitely somebody going through an awakening here. All right, so wow. Sagittarius, there we go. Yeah, there is a lot of joy, a lot of fun. Someone's trying to figure out how to bring the joy back into their life. Okay, somebody hasn't had that for a long time. There's, you know, you want to know what this person's intentions are towards you, right? They're trying to figure things out, how to bring the joy in, how to have fun. person's intent to make peace okay they they really whatever happens they want to make sure it's peaceful they want to make peace with you they want to they want this to be peaceful and relaxing they are probably a little bit afraid present power okay yeah be conscious of the power you hold over this person they're very conscious of the power of this connection between the two of you it is a very powerful connection but you're, be conscious of the power you hold, all right, Saj, you know that you do. When they see you as the Empress, you have the power. <laughs> you go, 
you got a hold of this person and they're just kind of like freaking out okay this is somebody yeah there is a lot of abundance here creative endeavor teamwork cooperation compromise this person knows there's a lot of abundance between you a lot of possibilities this could be a, a, a beautiful connection all right so you know how they're thinking this is how they're thinking and feeling you know you're feeling this way it's just a matter of this person figuring out whether they want to commit or not this is someone who probably hasn't been committed for a very very long time or they never have really had a real commitment I'm thinking about marriage and all that kind of stuff it's freaking them out <laughs> they're freaked out okay they're running scared but they don't want you to get away so be patient all right take care of yourselves i wish you guys the best and we will see you soon